Imagine that the sun is about to die, and soon we'll see the end of the world. Sounds creepy, doesn't it? But the heroes of the wandering earth have decided to fight for their survival. To find out whether they succeeded, watch our movie recap. A little boy is spending time with his dad and grandpa, looking through the telescope. His father shows him Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. Soon the father leaves on the most important mission in the whole world, while his son is left to live with the grandfather. We learn the history of Earth. It's the year 2061, the planet faces an enormous amount of disasters. Droughts, fires, volcanic eruptions, extinctions of animals and collapse of entire cities. And the reason for it is the sun. It is gradually turning into a red giant and swallowing the Earth, which threatens to kill the entire solar system. The world's governments have united for survival and launched a huge project, the Wandering Earth. The Earth's surface has been built up with more than a 10,000 giant plasma thruster engines, pushing the Earth on a trajectory away from the Sun towards Jupiter and another solar system, Alpha Centauri. The Earth has already lost most of its population due to the cataclysm associated with the Sun and after the 300-meter tsunami that struck the planet as it left its orbit. The Earth became an icy wasteland with temperatures even below minus 80 degrees Celsius. In order to save humanity, at least partially, in the great depths of the Earth, people built 10,000 underground cities, with each of them hosting about 350,000 people. The inhabitants of these cities were chosen by drawing lots. As you can imagine, the chance was given only to a small part of the planet. We meet one of the main characters, is Liu Pei Chang. He works at the International Space Station, which flies ahead of the Earth. 17 years have passed. We learn that our protagonist's son, Liu Qi, lives in one of those underground cities together with his adopted sister, Han Duo Duo, who still goes to school. Liu Qi decides to escape to the surface of the Earth, even though he has never seen it. The boy sets off an alarm at the school and takes Han Duo Duo with him. The guy sneaks into a casino and there, paying some bribery, he gets protective suits and fake passes from the owner. Everything is going well, but suddenly Han Duo Duo accidentally says that Liu Qi is not going to return. The casino owner is furious. They start fighting. Fortunately, it is the New Year's Eve and there are many passerby and holiday illuminations outside, so the brother and sister manage to escape. Liu Qi and Han Duo Duo join a group of small guys in red hazmat suits and successfully pass the inspection. They obtain a special helmet and pass by a huge plane. Liu Qi is absolutely thrilled. They have to go up in an underground elevator, the whole 15 kilometers up. The guys put on their helmets and plug in their communication equipment. As they go up, they see a dead, snow-covered city with skyscrapers. The elevator door opens and they get blown away by a snowstorm. The temperature on the surface is minus 84 degrees Celsius. The brother and sister set out to find a huge transporter truck driven by their grandfather. They want to steal it and escape from here. The guy climbs inside and starts the vehicle. But Liu Qi is not good at driving and nearly hits people on the road. He crashes into a concrete support and miraculously avoids ramming other trucks. Han Duo Duo sees workers digging mountains. Her brother explains to her that this is how people extract minerals which are used to fuel the plasma engines. The girl notices one of such engines. They make it possible for the Earth to move away from the dangerous sun. At this time, we see Liu Pei Chiang again. He has been working at the space station for 17 years and is now retiring. And just that day, their station enters Jupiter's orbit. The man is being sent on a well-earned retirement. He hopefully looks out of the porthole at Earth. However, they face an unforeseen situation, a gravitational surge on Jupiter. Because of this, the Earth gets captured by the giant planet's magnetic field and begins to fall to its surface. Now let's go back to the Earth. He, Liu Qi and Han Duo Duo continue their journey. The boy wants to stay on the Earth's surface forever, but his dreams are not destined to come true. The guys are caught by the police patrol and imprisoned for stealing a transporter. There, Liu Qi and Han Duo Duo meet another prisoner, a jerk named Tim. A hooligan's grandfather, Hang Jiang, tries to bribe the police to ransom his grandson and granddaughter, but ends up behind the bars himself. He pounces on his grandson with his fists, but at that moment, the wall of the prison cell is cracked, it's a huge earthquake. Houses collapse, walls fall and tectonic plates move and a natural disaster occurs. Some plasma engines have stopped, the number of victims is truly enormous and all of this has been caused by Jupiter's new gravitational surge. An earthquake destroys the prison and our four former prisoners jump into grandpa's truck and escape. 
Everything around them collapses before their eyes, but our heroes with great effort manage to escape the city and reach the vast snowy desert. Liu Pei Chang gets in touch with them and asks them to go to the nearest evacuation point. The man himself, as well as his colleagues, has to lie down in a special capsule and go into a stasis to save energy consumptions on the space station. Suddenly, the grandfather driving the transporter sees a signal requiring him to stop the vehicle. Instead, Han Jiang, on the contrary, increases the speed. But they don't manage to escape. They are blocked by the crew of a military rescue team, whose captain takes away the truck along with its driver. The objective of this team is to deliver to the underground city a call to restart the engine. Liu Qi, Han Duoduo and Tim join the rescue team. Together they go on a mission to save the planet from destruction. Hang Jiang recalls a tranquil past when people lived in a huge skyscraper and didn't worry about anything but money. The road becomes more dangerous by the minute. They have to bypass the collapsed subway station and escape from the falling debris of flying machines. One of the crew members feels nauseous and starts vomiting. The transporter glass is about to crack. Everyone is required to wear helmets. The situation becomes critical. The truck breaks down and everyone gets out. They miraculously manage to salvage the car to restart the engine. The team finds a surviving skyscraper. It's the Shanghai Tower. They climb the ropes to the top. At some point, the ropes that hold the car break. Hang Jiang manages to stop the fall of the car at the cost of his life. As the man dies, he recalls how many years ago he saved the life of a little girl during a flood. He named her Han Duo Duo and raised her as his own daughter. This is how Liu Qi got a half-sister. He asks his grandson to take care of Han Duo Duo. The rescue team loses a few members more. The survivors have to drag the launch car by hand. In the meantime, Liu Pei Chiang prepares for the immersion in sleep, but learns that his family has gone on an incredibly dangerous rescue mission. He breaks his capsule to get out of it. The man also awakens his best friend from stasis, a Russian astronaut named Makarov. Together, they want to find out why all the space stations have left Earth alone before the imminent collision with Jupiter. Liu Pei Chiang and Makarov see Earth's atmosphere flowing smoothly into Jupiter's. This means it will soon become completely uninhabitable. Let's go back to Earth. The crew members fail to save the city in time, and all the people die when magma bursts from the Earth's mantle. The remnants of the rescue team find a plane that crashed. It turns out that it had a similar mission in another city. Among the wreckage, they find a surviving transporter truck and a launch car. One of the engineers begs Liu Qi to complete the mission and deliver the car to restart the engine. Liu Qi takes his grandfather's place and becomes the new truck driver. Now in their team, they only have him, four military men, two engineers, Han Duo Duo and Tim. They are going to another city. On their way, Liu Qi's team learns that almost all the engines on Earth have been restarted, but it's of little use. The collision between the two planets is unavoidable. At this time, Liu Pei Chiang and Makarov get outside their space station and try to reach the control center. The system recognizes them as a threat and attacks. Makarov's helmet gets covered with cracks. He pushes Liu Pei Chiang to the control center with his last breath and flies himself into outer space. Liu Pei Chiang gets inside the module. He learns that all the space stations have left Earth by the decision of the world government, as our planet is doomed. In this regard, they launched a project named Helios in order to save the remnants of humanity and Earth's biosphere. For this purpose, to Alpha Centauri, they will only send a navigation station, where, in addition to the crew immersed in stasis, there are 300,000 human embryos, animal DNA and millions of seeds of important crops. Meanwhile, the other inhabitants of Earth are advised to spend their last days together with their family, kiss their loved ones, hug their relatives and gather for a farewell dinner. They have no more than seven days left, most likely even less. But Liu Qi is not ready to give up. He recalls his father's stories about the explosive power of oxygen and hydrogen. Such an explosion would throw the Earth off and it would break out of Jupiter's gravitational field. Together with the chief engineer, the guy devises a plan to ignite the atmosphere. He suggests directing an energy beam from one of the plasma engines to Jupiter. In order to do this, the rescue team must simultaneously launch several stopped engines. They manage to do so only at the cost of incredible effort and heroic self-sacrifice. But Liu Qi's plan fails. The force of the plasma beam was not strong enough, and it failed to reach Jupiter's surface. 
Seeing that Earth has lost any chance to survive, Liu Peiqiang disables the control module. Sacrificing his life, he directs a space station with thousands of tons of fuel to the spot on Jupiter's surface where the beam should have reached. The station explodes and creates an explosion in Jupiter's atmosphere. This allows throwing Earth off the dangerous trajectory. An explosion of enormous power nearly takes Han Duoduo's life, but Liu Qi manages to catch his half-sister. His helmet breaks, but the boy is lucky and gets immediate help. Earth is rapidly drifting away from Jupiter. Humans now have their chance to save themselves. Three years have passed. People are getting ready for New Year's Eve. They are smiling and having fun. Liu Qi and his sister go on another mission. They still have to find their place in one of the vast galaxies, and it may take many centuries. But these guys have no intention of giving up. Did you enjoy the recap? Then give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and we will make new cool videos for you. Do we have a deal? You've been watching the Movie Cat channel. I'll see you soon.